Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today in this video, we'll talk about the selector statement. In my previous videos, I talked about how to download SQL Server, how to install it, and few basic things like uh, a creation of a new database, creation of new table, and working with table columns. Okay, so today in this video, we'll see what exactly is a selector statement and what it does. So let's go to the SQL Server Management Studio where you can fire your queries. Okay, so here I have a table created um, so in I'll be using this adventure works database so let's go and use it directly right so what I'm doing is rather than typing I can drag and drop it here so it will save me from typing all these okay so use adventure works database so my database is in use now so now I have a table called employee dbu.employ and this table has some records okay so I have inserted these records beforehand by using some of these other tables okay and uh, I'll be showing you how to retrieve data from this particular table right so in SQL server there is only one statement I think in other database also there is only one statement to retrieve the data from a particular table that is the select statement right so there is no other statement to retrieve the data yeah, you, you have to point this you have to note this thing right that there is only one statement in all major SQL database tools like SQL Server Oracle MySQL I don't know much about other but for SQL Server uh, there is only one statement that is used to retrieve the data and that is the select statement right so the select statement can be a very simple statement like select star from table or it can be a very complex statement where it can goes from handle lines of code to thousand lines of code with multiple joins and very complex logic right so as I s told you it can be a very simple statement like uh, select star from the employee table employee right so once you type select star from employee it means that select star means all the columns from employee table right so what it will do is once you have selected and once you execute it it will give you all the records from this particular table it returns all these columns so here you have uh, the uh, employee name that is business entity ID employee first name middle name last name date of birth marital status gender his national ID number job title hire date vacation hours sick leave hours and the department that he works okay so all these columns are retrieved by the select star and all these records are retrieved the, there are total 290 employee records in the employee table okay rather than giving star you what you can do is you can also provide the column list okay but to provide the column list you will have to provide all these names so let me expand the column list here so if you can see here these are the columns so what you can do is you can either type all these columns or what you can do is you can drag and drop all these columns here Okay, and remove the asterisks from here okay and these so what I have done is I have copied all the columns here okay and I'll get the same result if I execute it I'll get the same result right so select a star from employee and select all these columns will give me the same result but let's say if I want to get a list of only few columns like if I don't want you know these columns in my list right I want only the first four columns the employee ID and the first name middle name last name so what I so what I can do is I can only provide these four columns right so by providing these four columns I'm limiting the result set and thus I am resulting the network bandwidth and the IO the input output operation that you know the SQL server is doing so you have to keep in notice that you know whenever you are retrieving records so you have to retrieve only the columns that you required in your business logic or in your report or whatever Kind of logic that you are doing okay now let's go again back to the uh, table so I'm doing a select star from employee so either to retrieve the record you can ex press execute or you can press the F5 button you can see here in the bracket it is showing F5 you can also execute the F5 okay now let's see if I want to get only top five records from this particular table how can I do it right so there is a clause that is top five Right? so it will give you only top five rows from this particular table right so you can see here only you are getting top five records but you are getting all the columns you can even you know club both of these things right and without giving star you can limit the record set by these five rows by these four columns okay 
Now let's again go back to the employee table, right? So these employees works in these all departments. So if you want to see how many unique departments are there in a table, what you can do, right? So let me copy this statement over here. And what I can do is I can have I can provide a distinct statement D I S T I N C T distinct with the column name. The column name is department name. So D E P A R T. So as you type depart, it will the intelligence will give you the department name. Just select it. Okay. So select distinct department name from employee table. It will only give you a single column department name and give you a distinct list means unique list of these departments. So you can notice here right in my ploy table there were 290 rows but when I gave distinct department name it gave me only 16 rows right. Why because in these in this employee table only there are 16 departments spread across all these one all these 290 employees. Okay. So if you can see here you can see injuring 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 these are multiple times uh, repeated for these particular employees. Okay. Now let's see there is a separate requirement you know I want only the name to be clubbed as a full name right I don't want these individual three names first name last name middle name I want a full name what I what I can do I can concatenate all these three columns into one by the plus operator right so how can I do that so what I can do is uh, select first name plus middle name plus last name okay from employee table right so if you can see here uh, Ken J Sanchez will be clubbed into one similarly you know Roberto these will be clubbed into one let's see how right so you can see here Ken J Sanchez is clubbed into one but you cannot but the space is not there right because we just clubbed these all columns right we didn't give any space here right but you can see the third record it is null why because this middle name was null and if you add a null value the whole column will become null right so you have to treat null by using is null statement and you have to default this is null to let's say some blank character like is null this blank character and right is null right now if you execute it you won't see null right you will see the employee name first name middle name and last name but still you know they have uh, they don't have any space between them so to have space between them what you can do is you can have empty spaces like this you can add the empty spaces between the first name and middle name and last name like this right so here you can now see the spaces between the first name and middle name and last name right and you can see here in the result set there is no column name right so you can also alias the column name as full name or e m p l o y e employee full name so the column definition the column heading will change to employee full name right so this is the way you can create uh, these custom column names or the calculated column names right uh, let's go back what else we can do uh, you can change the column headings right let's say for this particular column business entity ID you don't want it as business entity ID you want to display it as employee ID right so what you can do is you can have you can alias this column name as the column the original column name as employee ID E M P L O Y E I D right so this way you can alias the columns right so now the business entity ID is changed to the employee ID right so this is the thing that you can do okay now let's go back to the this statement back right and uh, so here you saw that you know it has 290 records so let's say it, if it has lakhs of records or millions of records so how would you limit these records to uh, some criteria let's say you want to see the um, see the employees the who are only in executive department right so how can you do that right so um, I will be using a where clause right to limit the employees to only this department right so what is what will be the query select staff from employee where 
where the department name department name is equal to executive okay so what this query will do it will only bring me those records where the employees belong to executive department right so if i execute it i'll get the so it gives me only two employees out of 290 employees who works in executive department right if i am going to again see whole let's say the engineering right i can copy the engineering and replace with executive let's see how many employees we have in engineering department we have seven employees in engineering department right so this where clause you can use in with some other columns as well so this is about the where clause we'll talk about where clause more in our coming uh, videos i'll have a separate uh, video and demo for the where clause now uh, let's say uh, how you can work with the order by clause right so order by means as the name suggests it will order the record set that it uh, returns right so now let's see uh, the whole employee table let's say i want this record set to be ordered by the first name okay so how can i do that right so let's see select a staff from employee you just have to have a order by order by order by first name that's it so the record set will be ordered by the first name in ascending order let's say you want to so that ascending order asc this option is by default even if you don't give it it will go by the ascending order right like if i don't give it it will do an ascending order for me if i want it in descending order desc is the option so it will arrange the records in descending order from z to you know back a right now let's see the descending order column right so now here you can see right in the uh, 30th record th 30th row you have brian brian you have four brands and uh, if the last name are not ordered you can say Loy lloyd welker lamy and goldstein right so if you want to order the la uh, last name also you can give a comma separate list of last name as well right so it will order the records with last name as well so let's go to the 30th record it was brian okay brian and you can see goldstein lamy lloyd and welker okay so it has ordered the whole record set by first name and last name you can even get a list by date of birth uh, like select employ order by b i r t h d a t e okay so this will order the employee records with the increasing date of birth so the employee who is older right it, it will come first and the youngest employee will come at the end okay so this is it so this is how you know order by works so this is all about the select statement that you can uh, you know work with and uh, you can retrieve the results from a particular table in sql server okay and in the coming videos i'll be talking i'll be talking more about you know these where clause and the order by clause and a uh, lot of things so please stay tuned please uh, let me know if you have any suggestions and please let me know if you want something uh, more to know about these topics please subscribe the video by subscribing you'll get to know the latest videos that i put in here okay thanks a lot and have a nice